Hi, here's a quick video on how to check and adjust your wheel alignment yourself. It is quite important for your tyre wear and for your handling and your driving stability you've got good alignment. And the easiest and cheapest way of doing it over the long term is with one of these drive over wheel alignment guards gauges. Uh, you drive a car in a straight line a little bit, make sure the steering wheel is dead straight. Take your hands off the steering, drive on a completely flat surface. This drive is ideal for it. Make sure there's no stones in the way. But your um, track measuring guide, this is a, a Gunson track right. Just in front of the tyre, zero the gauge. Make sure that it's all working properly. As your wheel alignment is out, the act of driving over the gauge will push this to the left or to the right. And the amount of movement is measured by this gauge here. The numbers are in degrees. When I initially measured it, it was uh, about one and a half degrees, so well out because it should be half a degree total toe in for this car, which is an MGTF. So now we'll try it again by driving over it slowly. There we see the movement has gone to toe out, so we're just a little bit too much. And uh, now we're going underneath the car and look at how you adjust it for this MGTF. By the way, measure the other side as well to make sure that you're measuring it evenly and you get the same reading. Alright, on this MGTF, the rear wheel alignment is controlled by these these tie bars over here. And they've got different threads, one clockwise, one anti-clockwise on both ends. So you need a 24mm spanner to undo these uh, lock nuts on the ends. Very stiff. I uh, probably suggest you have a uh, monkey wrench like this to hold onto the rod and uh, probably use your feet and your hands with a lot of pushing and shoving, put a bit of oil on the threads and eventually you can loosen them up and take note of the thread and you should be able to see which way the thread goes so this end it's a traditional thread so the uh, bar, uh, if you rotate it that way around, clockwise looking that way, then it screws into this retainer, and at the same time, we'll be screwing into this one. So, screwing this rod into this one will obviously bring the rear of the tyres in, which will make it tow out more. So, I just measured it as turning out too much, so I've got to turn the rod this way. Oops. Let's just measure how we're going to do that. That nut's still quite stiff, so we can measure it in terms of the number of flaps that we turn. Yeah, that turns the rod quite nicely. So if we turn one, two, three, and I think maybe a little bit extra. Now again, we've got to turn this one so that pushes the back of the tyre further out so that the front of the tyre toes in. For this car we need about half a degree toe in for the MGTF 2003. So this time I'm going to do four flaps turning out. So here we go. One, two, three and four. And then we'll Remotion the tracking, might need to do it a few times. When you're happy with the tracking, just hold the rod tight and do up the lock nuts. Okay, that's how to adjust your rear tracking on the MGTF. Similar on lots of other cars, front tracking similar as well. Just got to find where the adjustment toe bars are. Uh, normally on the front would be the track rod uh, ends on the steering rack. Uh, she'll have a similar arrangement. So, good luck with doing yours. Thanks for watching.